guys. Hey, making your own jewelry is a pretty popular trend right now, and Sherry Hobb has written several books on jewelry making and has traveled the world talking about it. We're lucky, though, because you call Utah home. Right. You live in Springville. <laughs> I live in Springville. And you've been doing jewelry making for many, many years. Yes. You're it. You're yeah. the queen. Some people say so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all agree. And you're going to show us today a fun new technique. We're making silver out of clay? Well, actually, it's fine silver. It starts out as clay, and then after it's... um made into whatever project you want to make it into, you fire it, a binder burns away and you're left with fine silver oh, when you're done. Very fun. So. This is the project we're making. This necklace right here, correct? Right. Oh, it's beautiful. And these are personalized charms that you can, um, the neat thing about this clay is you can personalize it. We can stamp our name or a little message onto it or anything you want. So, so you can make, make yours. wonderful gifts that way. Okay, move over mm -hmm. Tiffany. We're designing right, here, right? right? How do we get started? Okay, and this clay, um, it, it's very easy to work with. It's just very soft and malleable. Where do you get that? And you can get it at several stores online and several jewelry suppliers. What are we looking for? So what is it it's called? called Precious Metal Clay. Precious so it Metal comes Clay. So packaged like this. Okay. And one of the brands, which is really cool, or the PMC3 right here, this mm -hmm. one, can be fired at home with a cream brulee torch. Just a oh. simple butane torch. Right in the kitchen. So most of the tools you might already have at home, so it's very easy to use. Okay, great. So I'm going to show you how easy this is. I've got the plain cards out, not to do a trick, not to do a magic I know, I asked trick. her, I said, what are we doing with the cards? <laughs> I'm showing you how to roll an even sheet of clay, and I've got five cards on each side, and so I'm just using a little roller so that I have an even sheet. You don't have to use the cards, you could just roll it freehand so if you want. So the active spacer is going right. to keep a level, right. level keeps surface. Right, it nice and level, so I'm rolling out a sheet of clay, Okay. and then... Let's um, stamp a little, I'm going to stamp the word love on here. Is there a direction how thick you want to roll the clay? Well, I've got five to make a nice thick one. Okay. But maybe four or five cards for a sturdy charm. So you can roll it out. Right. Thick and and even, thin. even thinner if you want to. Oh, okay. So I've got this little, you can find these stamps, you can use rubber stamps or these um, from the scrapbooking store. Okay. And you just um, make sure I've got the orientation right. Yeah. And the nice thing is if you mess up, you can start over. You, you can just, just wipe it out. Soft touch there, you just pressed it right into right. the clay. Now I'll let you try one here. The dot means down here. Okay. So I'll let you go ahead and press that into the clay. And just line it right. And up. it's supposed to look handmade, so if it's a little bit wonky, it's okay. And that exactly. is wonky. I don't know what that word means, but that's what that is. <laughs> I don't know if I made that up or not. <laughs> it's a Sherryism. There you go. And there's our V. Oh yeah, see. It's see, all no, over that's the place. great. That's great. We'll just hurry this along, and then I'll show you how to cut out the shape here. Okay. And you can do any design you want with the stamps or... Now watch me. Yeah. Anything you want. And the neat thing is, is you can texture it with lace or rubber stamps. You need to oil these first with a little olive oil. Okay. So they won't stick. Or these little brass textures. So it picks up any texture you want. You just press the texture there onto your clay right. surface to give it a, right. fun, a fun dimension. Right. And then you can use these fun little cutters and just... Oh. We've got our love spread out a bit, but you get the idea. You just yeah. cut right through the clay. This is very easy. I mean, okay. even a kid can do this. And so. then how do you turn it into the silver, the metal look? Okay, um, after we've cut it out, we um, just make a few little holes. You can use a drink bo box tool or just a little bit of a needle tool. Make some holes there okay. for hanging. And, and then we've up. dried it on just either this little candle warmer or just in the air. Oh. And after it's dry, you just need to refine it a little bit first before you fire it. I just use a nail file and go around the edges. <laughs> Very easy. to From your nails to your clay. Right, mm -hmm. right. You can tell I don't do my nails, but I do my clay. <laughs> I do my jewelry. So you just, you just make sure that you smooth out the edges. Okay. Use just a little bit of water, nice you know, smooth. to smooth the edges there. All right. And then to fire it, we're putting it on a kiln shelf. You can fire it in a small kiln device. Okay. And or a little torch like this. And I'll show you how we do this. You're a diva. Ah. Here you go. Where's the? I, I'm always, you know, torches are just not my thing. It's kind of scary. Yeah. And then you just. <laughs> Look at you. If you do that. And then you just fire it. You'll see that the binder burns away for you first. You'll see a little bit of a flame uh -huh. and a little bit of the binder burn away. And you just hold it oh. on there for two minutes. And it will be glowing orange red the whole two minutes. So you time it. And we're just getting this going. But you get the idea. Yeah, yeah. So, so two minutes on the heat yeah. and you'll see it start to transform in color. What a fun project. Right. Sherry, thank right. you so, so much. You keep it glowing. Oh, uh -huh. that's fun. And easy to do, like you said, using items you have in your home. Right, right. And then you just need to burnish it when you're done mm -hmm. um, with the burnishing tools. Okay. Do you want me to show you how to... I think we're out of time, but the instructions okay. are on our website. They are, so right. So burnish it. That will be the finishing right. step. Right, burnishing it and then putting some um, findings and beads on it and you're ready to go. Beautiful. The Art of Metal Clay, one of many of Sherry's books. You can find more information, including the instructions, as I mentioned, on our website, studio5.ksl.com. Thank you so much. Thank you. What a fun project. I'm excited. Hey, still ahead.